Well, hello, man cavers. What are we doing today? We are going to put the new cork in this BSA petrol tap. I tried the old dipping it in boiling water. This old cork did swell up, but not enough. Anyhow, let's get on with this. Roll the credits. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. So, here we are. Such a shame about the Briggs and Stratton engine yesterday, isn't it? But there we go. Anyhow, we have split our tap out. And we need to change this cork with one of these new ones. Which I've got from this place, good old eBay. There you go. That's the place where I got the tap from. The tap, the cork repair kit. So my plan, I've never changed one of these before, but I think we're going to knock that little pin out of the middle there. Out of there. So I'm thinking I can put that in a deep socket, pop that through, but it looks like that's been burned over. So, and let's have a look at our new corks. Have we got that? Oh, they're all falling out. They give you five in the packet, look. So you've got plenty of room for error. And on this little kit, you even get a selection of new washers to go on your petrol tap where it goes into your tank, which is really, really good. So let me find a socket what this will fit in, and then we can hopefully tap that through. So here we go, guys. We have a 10 mil socket, deep socket. That'll fit in there a treat. Notice I've got this on a brick, so it acts like an anvil. Now, from what I gather, we tap this middle out. And hopefully that will come. Oh, ah. Well, I don't really want to grind the end off. Why well, do that even come through there? I think she's going, actually. Ah, that's starting to go. Yep, that is starting to push through. I need a finer punch than that. Right, we've got a finer punch here. Hopefully that'll push that. Right the way through. Come on, I've gone too far now, look. Well, ain't that a corker? <coughs> there you go. There you go, she's apart, look, there we go. So we've got our little brass bit, and we can see all the way through there, so we haven't broke nothing off in there. And our little cork slides off, look. Now there is a book of destructions. Let me get in here. What does it say? Soak cork in boiling water for two or three minutes. Well, here's our new cork. So we've got boiling water in a cup here. We'll stick him in there, look. Leave that to cook for a couple of minutes. Soak cork in boiling water for two or three minutes to get them soft and spongy. Some plungers unscrew. If yours has fixed cork on one side, take care not to tear the cork. Use a Stanley knife and blade, yes. Ease cork over the stem of the plunger. If it's going to go wrong, this is the time. Refit and replace. Well, that sounds very, very simple. Well, there's our old cork. And for comparison, here's a new one. Quite a difference in size. Now, is this even going to fit back in this body? Well, they seem very tight. But let's see what that's like. Let's follow their instructions and see what that's like. 
after it's had two or three minutes to go soft and spongy, as they say. Marvellous. Very much a shame about the little BSA we did yesterday. Thank you for all the lovely... Ha ah, ha, water's hot. Thank you for all the lovely comments. But unfortunately, I think she is toast. I hate to write an engine off, but I think it is toast. Yeah, what's off tap like inside? That looks pretty clean. Yeah. Anyhow, we'll give that two or three minutes. And then we'll be back. Right, guys, that's been soaking a good five minutes. So let's get our little cork. Which has gone soft and spongy. Look, there we go. Now, what do I say? Easy over here. Well, that's eased over there easily. Will that fit back in? Oh, hang on. Hang on. We've got to put that in here, haven't we? We have got to put that in here and push that down. Well, look at that. It seems to have gone back in. But does it fit in this tap? Not a chance. Look, way too wide. Hang on. I don't want to ruin that cork. They say that's going to go wrong otherwise. Let's put a bit of WD around there. Just get things a bit lubricated. And hopefully we can feed this back in. Is it going to go without breaking up? Do you know? I think it actually might. gone in there. God, the hell, you can't open the damn thing now. Now, ah, let's have a look. Hopefully, when that sort of dry out, that might improve it a little. But at the minute, she is quite tight. God, bugger. Right, we're getting a bit of cork remnant off there, I think. Right, that's starting. I wonder if, when that dry out, that is going to swell back down a little, isn't it? Because I think half the problem is when I knock this back on, I've like compressed the sponge, making it a bit thicker. You're all going to be shouting, no, don't sand it off. Well, we're just going to have a little look. See if we can snag a little bit off it. Because when these dry out, I know they shrink. So where's our little slot? That's there. And it's actually fitting in there. A bit better. It's tight, but I think when that dry, when that dry out, I think that might sort of be all right. All right, let's get our little screw done back up. And we'll see. How it works. There we go, our tap is on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's working. I mean, she's tight. But I think with a bit of use, that'll come right. There we go. Absolutely perfect. So here is our tap with its new cork. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely perfect. 
There we go. If you wonder what that tap is, it's an Ewat. Ewat. Ewat, whatever you want to call it. There we go. It's an Ewat tap. And we have replaced a cork successfully. There we go. Which one of these fits over there? Which one are we going? Ah, there you go. There's the little, there's the little washer we're going to need for our petrol tank. Look at that bad boy. That's ready to screw back in the BSA tank. Filter strainer is all clear. I've cleaned all that out already. So there we go. We are sorted. We are sorted. There is our tap done with our little washer on there. Look. Perfect. I say, come from these guys off eBay. I think it was under a fiver for the whole kit. And we have three more corks. So no, you don't get five corks. You get four corks. But there you go. We have three more corks for something else. So we'll put all these back in the little bag and they can be hung up, can't they? Marvellous. Right, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. This is a very short video compared to my other ones of late, isn't it? So there we go. Excellent. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And we will see you next time with... This engine. I'm determined to get one of them three going. So next video will be. Can we get this one going? Seeming though we've given up on the little green one. Which is under there. Which we tried yesterday. Which I'm afraid is past saving. Let's see if this one is saveable. Right. That's it for now. Bye bye for now. Ha <laughs> ha.